a lot of people do this in a sales conversation is that they start to solve the problem. You know, someone says, oh, I want to retire, let's say, and the problem is I don't have enough cash flow or I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have enough assets, whatever it is. And then like, oh, well, you've, if you just did this, you start investing this way and they start <laughs> answering the question and telling them how. And then a lot of people, what, what objection do you typically get when you give the solution? Do you guys know? They usually say, I'll think about it, right? Or let me try what you taught me first. Like, let me try this on my own and then we'll see. Maybe I'll let you know, right? Because what happens is, is you, if you fill them up with a solution, they're full. They think, okay, I better just go try this now, now that I have the solution. And now it's an excuse why they don't need to work with you right now. So if instead you can open it up and you can dig really deep and get to the real problem, and then instead of trying to solve it right then and there and say, oh, this is what you should do because I'm really good at what I do, so let me tell you how to do it. Instead, you go, well, what do you want? So you go from the frustrations or the pain into what they actually want. And we like to ask the question, well, if you can wave a magic wand, what would you like? And then they start dreaming. And guess what naturally happens? If you say, here's all the pain, all the bad stuff, right? And here's everything I want. If you can wave a magic wand, wow, imagine what it would be like. What's in between these two things? Big fat gap. Gap, right? So if you talk about their problems and they go deep into them and talk about what they can have and what they want, there's a gap. And so the only way to close that gap is what? You. That's your job. So now instead of telling them the how, how to do it all, not because you're a jerk because you don't want to, you don't want to tell them because God forbid you're going to tell them they're going to do it on their own. No, it's not that you don't want to tell them. It's that if you do tell them, they're not going to take action. That's their problem anyway. It's not the how. The how is not the problem. The problem is that they're not motivated to take action or they're scared to take action. Their fear is in their way. So if instead you can say, okay, the solution is these guys, me. This is the solution and this is how we would work together to solve this problem and close this gap. And then you can tell them this is what we would do together, but they need you. They can't do it without you, right? So solving their problem in that meeting is not going to help. So that's what you did and that's what you're doing and that's what was a allowed you to not only make more money, but also spend a lot less time with prospects. Yes. Okay, cool.